What is up guys, it's Josh from Colossus Fitness, your form guide expert, and today we're gonna go over how to properly do the lunge. So we're gonna start with three common mistakes. These are common mistakes I see often, and first and foremost, guys, is not going deep enough. A lot of people love to half rep, but the question that commonly arises is how deep is too deep? Can my knee touch or is that wrong? Someone said that's wrong. So a good rule of thumb for us, as you can see with this image here, is 90 degrees. As long as you're getting 90 degrees with about both of your, kind of your knees, your kind of that, kind of mixing your leg, you're doing it properly. So that's your proper range. However, a lot of people, if you're experienced, can go knee to the ground, no issue. I personally find nothing wrong with going knee to the ground. It's just a matter of if you're slamming your knee to the ground. This is kind of like a 1.5. Here you can see my knees going down hard and I'm taking all the tension off my quads and I'm not in the same position. I'm just kind of slamming down and I have to refine and stabilize myself and it's completely destroying my rep. This isn't natural, this can cause a lot of pain. Going too deep and slamming the knee can cause even more knee pain. So this is something you want to avoid. You want to do what's right for you and work in the depth that's appropriate for you. If 90 degrees does it, you get good contractions and you're happy, stop there. The only threat with that is if you don't have someone checking your form, looking over it, it's often that you can kind of cheat it and half rep. So just make sure you have a friend say, hey, am I half repping? And if they are, let them give you a little good smack or something and you'll be on your way. Number two guys is simple, but I guarantee you so many of you make this mistake. I still do it from time to time, so I try to catch myself. But it's simply looking down and focusing on your footwork too much. I know this is a balanced kind of exercise, so it can kind of force you to get really into that and be like, oh, are my feet an inch the wrong way? Instead, set up your feet work, get comfortable, step forward, but keep that head up, pick a focal point, and just look forward. For instance, if you're walking a tightrope, or you're trying to balance on anything, you're walking along a log, if you look at your feet, it's actually a lot harder and you'll find you mess up a lot more. The way the human body works is when you look dead forward, you pick that focal point at about head level, you'll get to that path quicker. It's like when you're driving, if you look down, you'll find you swerve out of the lanes, things don't end well. But when you look 100 yards in the distance, things are a lot cleaner. So this is the same with the lunge. Pick that focal point, whether you're moving or doing them standing still, just keep that head up, be comfortable, trust your legs, trust your foot placement, and you'll find your balance will significantly improve and you'll be a lot more comfortable in this exercise, causing you to get better contractions. Also guys, another bonus, this is two bonuses today, so make sure you smash that like button because I'm just throwing knowledge everywhere. Okay, so number 2.5, even though we were talking about tight ropes, you do not want a tight rope. So many people think you need to have your feet completely in line like this. That is not natural. That is not like at all. When you want to stand in a strong stance for football or hockey, you stance out your legs, you get wide, you get strong, you get firmly planted in the ground. If you want to feel really weak, you put your feet together, have someone push you, you'll tip over like no tomorrow. So it's the same thing with this. It's not natural for your body to stay strong when your feet are lined up like this. Instead, just keep them in about shoulder width, stay strong, and that will also help with comfort. And comfort will lead to gains and you'll be able to increase that weight in no time. Number three, guys, this is a highly debated one, but I'm sticking to my guns here. So, when you're going, a lot of people will give you the traditional knowledge, like the simple explanation, okay guys, when you do this, keep your chest up, sit down into it, and do not lean forward under any circumstance. And this is to avoid your knee going over your foot. This is something I 100% agree with. The easiest way to stop doing that is just lunge out more. It's a lunge. You're literally supposed to lunge forward. Stretch those legs out, let it happen, right? You're not trying to do the splits and tear anything, but you're trying to actually move forward. So start with that, and if you're doing it wrong still, so you gotta sit back a little bit. But at the same time, guys, it's a lot more natural to lean forward and it will take a lot of the tension off the knee. As you guys can see when I'm doing it here with my proper reps, my torso is a bit forward, but it's not over-exaggerated forward. So a mistake would be, I think, trying to be too upright or being too forward. There's that sweet spot, and I know that's kind of complicated for you guys to say, but if you can see here, I'm very strong, my glutes are engaged, my quads are getting good contraction, and I'm balanced. You'll be able to find the sweet spot fairly easily, play around with it, don't use any weights at first, just get that form down, and you'll be crushing this in no time. Before we do the step-by-step -step guide, let me give you guys a little present. First link in the description down below, we have all of our how-to videos. These videos have about over five million views on YouTube. We've been able to help a ton of people. We've made it into an easy personal trainer in your pocket kind of guidebook. So if you're questioning anything about your form, we got over 20 exercises on there, simply explained with before and after pictures. You can download that absolutely free, so be sure to check that out after the video. First things first guys, either you're gonna get dumbbells or no dumbbells. I was gonna use dumbbells, but I realized that'll be a bit annoying for demonstrative purposes, so I'm not gonna use dumbbells. So simply put, get those feet shoulder width, as you can see here, nothing magical about that. 
Next step, guys, keep that head up, keep that back nice and postured. What I mean by posturing is you're kind of pushing those rhomboids. You need a strong position. You can see here I'm strong. Here I'm slouchy. I look weak. I look timid. And I feel weak and timid, and that'll transfer into my lunge. So by staying strong like this, I can engage my core. That's the next step. Have a strong core. This is important with anything. You guys think this is a deadlift, bench, squat. It will transfer so effectively. So next up, we're actually jumping into the lunge, plain and simple. So we're not tight roping, we're not doing anything like that. I'm just gonna do this for demonstrative purposes. So I'm keeping that head up, I'm stepping forward. I'm actually lunging out here. You guys can see I'm in a strong position. I'm on the ball of my foot, kind of postured, but my abs are engaged. Now, to my point, I don't wanna to be too upright like this. This is awkward, this is not natural. A lot of strain on that knee, and this is why people avoid this exercise. So instead, I'm coming to a place where I feel comfortable and I feel strong here, you guys can see. A good way to test if you're feeling strong is if you can get up, you're gonna do a lunge right away. If you're doing it improperly, right, it's gonna be very hard for you to get up and get into a squat. So that's a good little test you can do at home. So once again, feet shoulder width, I'm up, chest up, strong, step forward, lunge, boom, done. Okay. Look, we taught you how to be pros. Now that you're a pro and you know how to lunge, I'm gonna show you three cool variations you guys can use to make more gains in your workout. Variation number one, guys, we have Bulgarian split squats. This has to be my absolute favorite variation. Thank me later, guys. Your quads will absolutely burn. Just two things to keep in mind. You want your back leg to go right down to the ground a couple of inches from the floor. Don't do half reps like we said for the regular lunge. And you want that front leg to go out nice and far so that way your knee's not going over your foot. Okay, guys, next up, we've got barbell squats. Do these at your own risk. Make sure you can do regular lunges and you have good balance before actually trying to execute these. They will absolutely kill your legs and they're great for overload. Variation number three, guys, I want you to have fun with it. So you can go backwards with your lunges, you can do walking, you can do sideways. So many people, including us in the past, have absolutely hated lunges because we think it's too hard, we can't get the hang of it. But have fun with it, make sure you guys find a way that'll actually make you wanna do it and enjoy it and uh, let us know how it goes. Hopefully you guys learned a thing or two in this video. Thank you so much for spending time with us and watching this video. We're the number one form experts on YouTube, so I guarantee you guys will learn a ton from watching all of our videos. We also are online coaches. We're gonna help you with your programming, your nutrition, and help you guys get better at your form for every single exercise. Make sure to go through the playlist, guys. Second link in the description below is gonna be our online coaching where you guys can sign up and we can help you reach your goals. Make sure to subscribe, smash that like button, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.